Tristan Ellis est l'auteur adulé ou détesté d'American Psycho qui, en 1991, l'a rendu riche, beau et célèbre, a fait de lui pour toute une Amérique une icône rebelle, très sexe, drogue et rock'n'roll. Il est de passage à Paris pour nous parler de son dernier roman, Lunar Park, paru chez Robert Laffont. Lunar Park est un roman qui commence sur le mode autobiographique, un brin complaisant et englué dans le, dans le bonheur, mais qui va bientôt virer au pire des cauchemars. On peut retrouver cette veine dans American Psycho 1 et 2 qui paraît aujourd'hui en DVD. En attendant, dans le journal intime qu'il nous propose, on peut se demander mais pourquoi Brett Easton Ellis a-t-il les yeux rouges My eyes are very red. I think, uh, I think that I need some Visine. I think I need some eye drops. But what do I see? I don't know. I see... Um, yeah. Different from the classical interview. It's not working. No? Mm, it's okay. not working, no. <laughs> but why not? What's wrong with the classical interview? The classical interview is good. I prefer the classical interview. Really? Yeah. All right. I mean, this is really not a classical interview. If you The only time I wrote with drugs was when I wrote Less Than Zero, the first draft of that, and I was writing it as an 18-year-old on a lot of speed, and I, I wrote a 4,000-page novel. Mm -hmm. A 4,000-page novel in eight weeks. It was horrible. It was a terrible novel. It took me two years to write, or to rewrite it and to make it halfway decent. And drugs, uh, cocaine never interested me as anything other than a social drug, as something that a lot of my friends did, and we'd weekends, you know, party, uh, it was around. I mean, it's not, it was not something that I centered my life around. Like caffeine, I guess, I don't know. Like co You drink coffee? Oh, nothing much. I don't think it's such a big deal. I mean, if it's really good cocaine, it, it, it doesn't, like, freak you out. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and describe what taking drugs feels like. I mean, I'm not, I don't take drugs anymore, mm -hmm. and I'm not a real big purveyor of, you know, pushing drugs or like, you know, I don't want to be on television telling people no. how good drugs feel. I mean, we want to talk about heroin. Heroin feels really good. Heroin feels a lot better than cocaine. I can start talking about heroin and, you know, tell people out there, oh, God, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Go ahead, do it. But you shouldn't. I mean, it's an incredibly addictive, destructive drug. Come on, hold my hand. I want to contact the living. And I think life can be very lonely at times. And I think we, all, we are all alone, ultimately, no matter who we're with. First of all, being a writer doubles it because you're already alienated from actual experience in a way because you're always looking at everything from material. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of alienated from the tactile nature of a conversation or of a party. And then double that with being, uh, you know, a celebrity, someone very well known, and then you're doubly isolated. And so, you know, it goes on and on and on. But, you know, you can also, uh, I think talking about it and confronting it uh, minimizes it somehow. I mean, you, you kind of break through it. I mean, there are plenty of people who never like admit that at all, mm -hmm. who never admit that celebrity, to a certain degree, is a very lonely thing to experience and that it does alienate you from friends and from people you, know, you care about. There's always going to be this gap, this sort of bridge that other people really can't cross. that I would want in this video diary. Why do you think we should suffer in silence? Or Robbie Williams. When Robbie Williams, yeah. Use a picture of Robbie Williams. You 
I've been reading this Robbie Williams biography. That's the best book I've ever read on celebrity by this writer, Chris Heath, who's profiled me a couple of times. It's all about being on tour and being like uh, isolated and lonely. And I never thought I'd be relating to Robbie Williams of all people, but I am. I mean, he's of course much more famous than I am. Though not in the States, he's not. I'm much more famous in the United States than Robbie Williams. <laughs> I can't believe I said that, but it's true. I mean, I don't, so yeah, Robbie Williams. It's a good concept. I'm just the wrong guy for it. I'm just not good at stuff like this. Who's so waiting for me? It's actually okay. Let me just get my key. All right. Thank you, guys.